And now it's Taylor Swift in Give the Devil His Due. Actually, wait, don't. Recently in a concert, Taylor Swift told her fans, please take it easy on my exes. I'm 33 years old. I don't care about anything that happened to me when I was 19. Alluding to John Mayer, who she was dating at that age and wrote a few songs about. One with the lyric, I damn sure never would have danced with the devil at 19. Well, her fans have listened and chosen to ignore her. John Mayer's Instagram posts were filled with comments, um, all from Swifties, all bashing him, saying, I know mom said not to, but we're here. Yes, they're tearing into John. And yes, they call Taylor mom. But are they wrong? Because after all, she called John Mayer a devil. Which makes it so false to say now, oh, you know, don't go after him. She vilified him. She got her fans worked the blank up. She should say, I'm not gonna sing the song as long as you're gonna treat John Mayer like it. That's a really good point. No, it's not. If she had to stop singing all the songs about her boyfriend, she wouldn't have a tour. There would be no song. It is kind of her brand, yeah. But as long as Taylor continues to perform her songs about John, it does kind of void her pleas to leave him alone, doesn't it? She whipped her mob into a frenzy and now she's trying to call off the insurrectionist. And you call up the insurrectionist and then sing the song calling him the devil. She's the Donald Trump of music. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, the only thing she'll be indicted for is sending mixed messages. Now, angrily sing a song about John Mayer, us out of here, Tay! Oh my gosh!